Hello grade 7, 8 and 9 maths learners or anyone who's interested in learning about factors, highest common factor, lowest common multiple and prime numbers. My name is Miss Martins. In this video we're going to go over what is a factor, what are prime numbers and what is a prime factor. In videos to come we'll focus on highest common factor and lowest common multiple using products of prime factors. Let's go. So first of all, what is a factor? A factor is a natural number. Guys, natural numbers start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and go on to infinity. They do not include 0. So factors are natural numbers that can divide into another number without leaving a remainder. So if we look over here, I've listed the factors of 20. The factors of 20, for example, are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. 3, for example, is not a factor of 20 because although I can say 20 divided by 3, there'll be a remainder left over. The universal factor is number one. So what that means is number one is a factor of all other natural numbers. One can go into any other number. It's pretty cool. Looking at prime numbers, prime numbers only have two factors and that's very important to remember. One, the number one, and itself. So for example, if we think of the number 10, 10 is not a prime number because number one can divide into 10, 10 can divide into itself. However, it has additional factors such as two and five. So 10 is not a prime. It's known as a composite number. Prime numbers, the very, very first prime number and also happens to be the first even prime number is number two. You'll see that a lot of the prime numbers are odd. So it goes 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Prime factors. Now this is where we're heading to with the series in this topic. Prime factors, we've discussed factors, we've discussed prime numbers. Prime factors are basically factors of a number that are also prime. So let's do an example together. I've asked you for the prime factors of 20. We've discussed the factors of 20, so let's just remind ourselves. If we look at the factors of 20, we said the factors of 20 were, we said they were 1, 1 is a factor of 20, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20 itself. That's not what the question is asking for. We want to know prime factor, so the prime factors of 20. I'm just using PF as an abbreviation. Please write out prime factors. We look at our list and we say which of these are prime. Now guys, never make this mistake. One is not a prime factor. One is not a prime number. It's a universal number. So if I look at my list, the prime factors of 20 are 2 and 5. So there we go. Prime factors of 20, 2 and 5. Then in the next video, what we're going to be discussing is how to write a number as a product of its prime factors. So what I mean by this is we've discussed that 2 and 5 are prime factors of 20, but product means multiply. You guys should know that. Product, the word product, means to multiply. If I look at the prime factors of 20, 2 and 5, if I multiply those together, I don't get 20. So what do I mean by products of prime factors? Well, products of prime factors utilizes the prime factors, but there's a slight little twist. Here is 20 written as a product of its prime factors. 2 to the power of 2 times 5. If you take a look at that, you can see that 2 is a prime number. We know that. 2 is the lowest, the smallest prime number. 5 is a prime number. Why is it called product of its prime factors? 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Now we can get this 2 to the power of 2 times 5 using two methods. We can do a factor tree or a factor ladder. And when you're in grade 9, you're allowed to use your calculator as well, which I will show you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Remember to subscribe because in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is going over how to do these two methods using a factor tree or factor ladder to write a number as a prime factor.